DNA is the code of life. It contains all the information that defines who we are. But did you know that DNA can also be used as a code for computing? It sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it's actually real. Researchers have developed a liquid computer made from DNA molecules, capable of running billions of different programs through chemical reactions. In today's Odyssey, we will explore how this technology works, its creation, and its applications in solving complex problems and diagnosing diseases within living cells. To understand how we arrived at this breakthrough technology, let's start with a brief history. DNA computing was first proposed in 1994 by Leonard Adelman, who wanted to see if DNA could be used to solve complex computational problems. He demonstrated this by using DNA strands to solve a famous puzzle called the Hamiltonian path problem. This involves finding a route that visits each location on a map exactly once, without repeating any. It's like figuring out how to route a road trip that stops in every city without doubling back. To solve this puzzle, Edelman used DNA strands to represent each location on the map and each possible road between them. He then solved the Hamiltonian path problem using DNA computing in four steps. One, he copied the DNA strands for the start and end points using PCR, which works like a photocopier for DNA. Two, he filtered out strands representing paths that were too long using gel electrophoresis, a technique that acts like a molecular sorting machine, separating DNA strands from smallest to largest. Three, he removed invalid strands containing repeated locations using magnetic purification, like filtering with a molecular magnet. Finally, he sequenced the remaining strands to read out the solution path. Adelman's experiment was a milestone in the history of DNA computing. It inspired many other researchers to explore the possibilities of using DNA as a computational medium. However, challenges like scalability, reliability, and interfacing with electronics remained. Now that we have seen the history of DNA computing, let's see how a liquid computer made from DNA works and what makes it different from previous attempts. In 2023, researchers created a DNA integrated circuit that can run over 100 billion programs, more than some conventional supercomputers. This DNA computer could help tackle challenges like disease diagnosis or climate modeling. Just like conventional software, DNA computers can run programs for complex tasks, such as solving quadratic equations, classifying cancer, RNA, simulating cellular regulation. Now let's dive into how these liquid DNA computers actually work their magic. When it comes to structure, DNA origami involves folding a long DNA strand into specific shapes and patterns, almost like using paper and folds to create origami art. Researchers design custom DNA staples that act like guide rails to bend the long strand into useful structures. This origami process creates nanoscale circuit components like wires, logic gates, and molecular switches, all from DNA. In terms of function, Fluorescent markers are special molecules that glow in different colors when attached to matching DNA sequences, similar to using highlighters to color code parts of a book. Researchers can color specific points along a DNA strand green, red, or yellow to label components or track reactions. It's like debugging a circuit with built-in LED lights. For modular design, researchers assemble DNA circuits using four types of tiles. Input tiles function like switches, Output tiles glow to display results, logic tiles process data similar to silicon chips, and bridge tiles connect the components like nanowires. These tiles can be arranged into billions of circuit designs. It's like building circuits by snapping Lego blocks together in different ways. When it comes to operation, programming a DNA computer involves mixing together the desired tiles and fluorescent markers to specify the logic and output. The self-assembling DNA strands spontaneously form the right connections. Testing involves inputting signals and watching for the correct fluorescent outputs. The DNA computer performs calculations in parallel by reacting molecules simultaneously. With such massive parallel processing power, DNA computers could transform fields from medicine to cryptography. The future applications are astounding. Thank you for embarking on this enlightening odyssey with us. 
We hope you found this video both enjoyable and informative. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It's a different form of bookmarking so that you can see our other videos. As we unravel the mysteries of science and technology, we're one step closer to a future where the impossible becomes achievable. Stay curious, and we'll see you in the next Odyssey.